Hello, this is Canon Spectacle. I am here with my Popper Eldrazi Poultice deck. Um, this is called Eldrazi Poultice because it uses some of these new Eldrazi, Nettle Drone and Kozlik Sentinel, and and it combo. One of the cards it combos with is this Herbal Poultice, which Herbal Poultice is an artifact for zero mana that you can pay three and sacrifice it to regenerate target creature. So, uh, in addition, I have four welding jars. I have four welding jar, three herbal poultice. Um, I have nettle drone and battered golem and banishing knack and retraction helix. Those form, those are three, this is a four piece combo deck. So those are three of the pieces. There's a lot of redundancy there, so it ends up working out. And... So with those, like if I stick Retraction Helix on Nettle Drone or Battered Golem, then every time I play one of these artifacts, uh, these untap, so then I can tap them to bounce these to my hand and cast them again and over and over. And with Luce's Spell Fist, I can get a giant unblockable creature. With Kozlik Sentinel, I can also get a giant creature that's not unblockable, so generally Spellfist is better than Sentinel. But, I mean, Sentinel gets around Lightning Bolt, so there's that. And then Golem Foundry lets me make an army of 3-3 three, three tokens. So, that's the basic combo. Something, another way the combo can go off is if I have two Nettle Drones... Then I can, or a nettle drone and a battered golem. I can stick the retraction helix on one of them, and then use the other nettle drone to ping my opponent. And then every time I cast one of these artifacts, both of them untap. So then I'll use one to bounce the artifact and one to deal one damage to the opponent. And so that the that combo piece, the actual kill piece, is the one with the most redundancy. So generally, that's the first combo piece that I trim. If I need, if I when I board in more cards, generally I cut the golem foundries. I have gone off with golem foundry before, and it's really fun. So yeah, uh, the rest of the deck is I have these preordains to set up my draws and dispels to protect the combo. Um, lands I got four. Four fetch lands, three evolving wilds, one terramorphic. It could easily be four evolving wilds or four terramorphics. I don't really have a particular reason for that. I have one each of the cycling lands so that I can play them as lands if I need to. And if I'm flooding out, I can just cycle them, draw a card. And I have four islands, seven mountains. Uh, moving on to the sideboard, I got a Apostle's Blessing for decks where I'm not worried about counter magic, and I can use that instead of Dispel. Um, and to do accomplish basically the same goal, and also, incidentally, I can give, say, my Nettle Drone Unblockable. I can... Then I have Dispels for Counter Magic, Electricories for Tokens and Elves, Flame Slash, Lightning Bolt for decks where I want removal, and Ingot Chewers for Affinity. This sideboard might not be correct. I, It's one I came up with myself. I, I'm not entirely satisfied with it. Um, I suppose I should give credit where credit is due. This deck comes from a reconstructed article by Gavin Verhey. The article is called "All R No Rares, All Modern Combo, where he took a modern deck. It, it's basically this deck, except for instead of the site, there's no cycling lands or uh, evolving wilds or terramorphic expanse. It does have swift water cliffs in there, but I don't like this. I, I had a modern version of this deck where I played uh, Sheevan Reef and Eldrazi Temple. Um, Eldrazi Temple's really expensive now, though, so, um, but anyway, and then instead of Golem Foundry, 
He played Molten Nursery, which is much better than Golem Foundry for this deck because it's clunk. So it, it's rather clunky to, to have a three drop as part of the combo, but it's hard to interact with an enchantment, at least game one. And you can get around blockers and you, you don't need a creature. So that ends up being kind of useful. And also one diff obvious difference mm -hmm. is that Gavin Verhey's deck didn't have Preordain. Had serum visions, which preordain is obviously way better, but not legal and modern. So anyway, that is Eldrazi Poultice. I'll go play some matches. This is Canon Spectacle with Eldrazi Poultice. I'll see you guys in the next video.